Still, one big question remains. What to do with all that CO2? One option lies miles from civilization. Since 1996, a Norwegian oil company has gotten a lot of practice getting rid of CO2 by pumping it into an aquifer deep beneath the North Sea. The process is called carbon sequestration. But could the carbon leak out? If so, what effect would it have on marine life? Once you've got enough gas under there and it's leaking out, it could become a very serious problem. And how much CO2 can they put down there anyhow? I believe in the long term, underground injection will not quite have the capacity we are looking for. So I am looking at another process, which I refer to as mineral sequestration. There's a perfect example of it in New York City, on the campus of Columbia University, underneath a bronze statue of the school alma mater. She is sitting on this pedestal of serpentine rock. This serpentine has absorbed CO2, probably out of rainwater. It's known as geological weathering, and if you wait long enough, that's what will happen to all of the CO2 we make. But it takes hundreds of thousands of years for Mother Nature to pull off geological weathering, and we don't have that long to wait. So Klaus is trying to figure out a way to speed it up. In the lab. As for his tree, he now has a working prototype. But many questions remain unanswered. Like, how well will it survive the elements? And who's going to pay for it? Is Klaus's tree too fantastic to be real? You could have said that about the Wright brothers and Thomas Edison. I can't sit here and tell you now that this is going to work. I can tell you now that it would be a terrible mistake not to do the research to find out. I believe that it is impossible to stop people from using the fossil fuels, so we need to develop technologies which allow us to use them without creating environmental havoc on the planet. We are, as a world, changing the climate and changing the Earth, and we need to understand how we're changing it and understand what we can do either to fix it or to control how we change it.